Jesus Christ, take us along that holy way we once took to your death. Take our minds, our memories, and above all our reluctant hearts, and let us see what once you did for the love of us and all the world. Amen. Amen. Oh, how sad and so distressed, now was she that mother blessed. Of the so begotten one, deep the woe of her affliction when she saw the crucifixion of her ever glorious son. The first station Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by my holy cross you have redeemed the world. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests with the elders and scribes and the whole council held a consultation. And they bound Jesus and led him away and delivered him to Pilate. And they all condemned him and said, He deserves to die. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and sat down on the judgment seat at a place called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabbatha. Then he handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. Jesus is brought to stand in front of Pontius Pilate, the judge. He is innocent, but Pontius Pilate condemns him anyway and sentences him to death. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Who on Christ, dear mother, gazing, pierced by anguish so amazing, would not share her sorrow deep. The second station, Jesus receives the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus went out bearing his own cross to the place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. Like a lamb, he was led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is mute, so he opened not his mouth. Worthy is the lamb who is slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength, and honor and glory and blessing. Jesus has been beaten by the soldiers. He has been laughed at and spat upon. 
Now he must pick up the heavy cross and carry it while the crowd yells. He is so tired and sad, but no one cares. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose beloved Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption, give us courage to take up our cross and follow him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Holy, holy God, God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have, have mercy upon us. us. Who on Christ's dear mother thinking, such a cup of sorrow drinking for love woman would not be. The third station, Jesus falls the first time under the weight of the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is the Lord our God. The cross is too heavy. It is so heavy that Jesus falls down under its weight. The blood from the crown of thorns is running into his eyes, and his back aches from being whipped. People are still screaming and throwing things at him. His heart must be as heavy as the cross he carries. Let us pray. <clears throat> O oh God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature we cannot always stand upright. Grant us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers, and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy, holy God, God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal one, have mercy upon us. For his people's sins chastised she beheld her son beside her. Searched and crowned with thorns and twine. The fourth station, Jesus meets his blessed mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by thy holy cross shall have redeemed the world. To what can I liken you? To what can I compare you, O daughter of Jerusalem? What likeness can I use to comfort you, O virgin daughter of Zion? For vast as the sea is your ruin. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your days of mourning shall be ended. Suddenly, Jesus sees his mother. She is standing at the side of the road, surrounded by the crowd. Her eyes fill with tears when she sees Jesus. She wants to help him, but she cannot. Both their hearts ache at the other's pain. Let us pray. <clears throat> O God, who will that in the passion of your Son, a sword of grief should pierce the soul of the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother. Mercifully grant that your church, having shared with her in his passion, may be made worthy to share with her in the joys of his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Holy, holy God, God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal one, have mercy upon us. Saw him then from judgment taken, and in death by all for 
forsaken, till his spirit he resigned. The fifth station, the cross is laid on Simon of Cyrene. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by the holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they led Jesus away, they came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, who was coming in from the country, and laid on him the cross to carry it behind Jesus. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The soldiers are in a hurry. They grab Simon of Cyrene out of the crowd to carry the cross and make Jesus go faster. Jesus was grateful to Simon for his help. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son came not to be served but to serve, bless all who, following in his steps, give themselves to the service of others, that with wisdom, patience, and courage they may minister in his name to the suffering, the friendless, and the needy, for the love of him who laid down his life for us, thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Holy Amen. God, Amen. holy and mighty, Holy Immortal One, have mercy upon us. Jesus, in the deep devotion, stirring me the same emotion, out of love redeemer cry. The sixth station, St. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We have seen him without beauty or majesty, with no looks to attract our eyes. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. <coughs> His appearance was so marred beyond human semblance, and his form beyond that of the children of men. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement of our peace, and with his stripes we are healed. <coughs> Jesus' face is covered with sweat, blood, and dust. It is itchy and uncomfortable. In pity, Veronica runs out to the road to wipe the dirt from Jesus' face. This small act of kindness is all she can do to help him. Let us pray. O God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain. Grant to us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Holy, holy God, God, holy and mighty, holy, holy immortal one, one, have mercy upon us. That my heart fresh ardent in and the purer love attaining, may with thee acceptance find. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by the holy cross you have redeemed the world. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. 
For the transgression of my people was he stricken. The road is so long and the cross is so heavy. Exhausted, Jesus falls down again. The soldiers yell at him and whip him to make him get up. Don't they know that they are hurting him more? Jesus knows that he is suffering for the sins of the world. He gets up and keeps walking. Let us pray. <coughs> Almighty and ever-living God, in your tender love for the human race, you sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our nature and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering and also share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. True repentance, Jesus, we be. Savior, prince, our wounds within me. Brand them on my stubborn heart. As the fox through tribulation, my salvation. Let me bear therein my part. <coughs> the eighth station. The women of Jerusalem mourn for our Lord. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There followed after Jesus a great multitude of people. And among them were women who bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Next, Jesus meets some of the women he taught. They are crying. They are crying for Jesus and for their own loss. What will they do without Jesus? Jesus tells them not to weep for him, but for all the sinners of the world. Let us pray. Teach your church, O Lord, to mourn the sins of which it is guilty, and to repent and forsake them that by your pardoning grace the results of our iniquities may not be visited upon our children and our children's children. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Holy, holy God, God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. Let me mourn, O Lord, beside thee for the sins which crucify thee. While my life remains in me. The ninth station. Jesus falls the third time under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by our holy cross you have redeemed the world. I am the man who has seen affliction under the rod of his wrath. He has driven and brought me into darkness without any light. He has besieged me and enveloped me with bitterness and tribulation. He has made me dwell in the darkness like the dead of long ago. Though I call and cry for help, he shuts out my prayer. He has made my teeth grind on gravel and made me cower in ashes. Remember, O Lord, my affliction and bitterness the wormwood and the gall. Jesus reaches the last hill before Calvary. He looks up to see how far he has to go. When he sees the hill where he knows he is going to die, his strength fails him and he falls to the ground. There is still more pain, still more sorrow to endure. 
But Jesus loves us, so he keeps going. Let us pray. O oh God, by the passion of your blessed Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Holy, holy God, God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal one, have mercy upon us. us. Take beneath the cross my station, and in all my tribulation, so unite myself with thee. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because I, your holy cross, should have redeemed the world. When they came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink mingled with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And they divided his garments among them by casting lots. This was to fulfill the scripture which says, they divided my garments among them, cast lots for my clothing. The crowd followed Jesus and the soldiers to the top of Calvary Hill. Now they laugh as the guards pull off his clothes. His robe has stuck to the blood on his back. The guards push and shove Jesus. They do not care who he is. They only see that he is an object of scorn. Let us pray. Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Savior, gave his body to be whipped and his face to be spit upon, give us grace to accept joyfully the sufferings of the present time, confident of the glory that shall be revealed. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Jesus, great beyond all others, turn not from me, heavenly brother. Let me to bewail thy pain. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. <coughs> we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. When they came to a place which is called the Skull, there they crucified him, and with him they crucified two criminals, one on the right, the other on the left, and Jesus between them. And the scripture was fulfilled which says, he was numbered with the transgressors. Is this the worst? The feet that carried the message of God's love and the hands that healed are pierced with nails as Jesus is nailed to the cross. More wounds, more pain, and more humiliation for Jesus. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honor of your name. Amen. Amen. Holy, holy God, God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, one, have mercy upon us. Let my soul thy death be glaring, thy unsparing passion sharing. 
Count thy bruises one by one. The twelfth station, Jesus dies upon the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because the cross the world. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And when Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And then, crying with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And he bowed his head and handed over his spirit. <coughs> the sword that Simeon prophesied has pierced Mary's heart. The hopes of the apostles are crushed. The veil of the temple, symbol of the old covenant of God's love, is torn in two as Jesus' death opens a new covenant with God. Let us pray. O God, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of our enemy. Grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. 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 Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Let thy stripes and scourgings smite me. At thy holy cross requite me. Let thy blood refresh me there. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of the cross, you have the world. All you who pass by, Behold and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow. My eyes are spent with weeping. My soul is in tumult. My heart is poured out in grief because of the downfall of my people. Do not call me Naomi, which means pleasant. Call me Mara, which means bitter. For the Almighty has dealt very bitterly with me. Now all that is left is to take Jesus' body down from the cross. All the gentleness, reverence, and love denied through this terrible day is possible now. Mary and the apostles wonder, is it too late? Is it over? Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by your death, you took away the sting of death. Grant to us, your servants, so to follow in faith where you have led the way, that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and wake up in your likeness, for your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. When the flames of hell would end me, at the judgment day defend me. Gentle Jesus, by thy love. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the sepulcher. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who also was a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it be given to him, and Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud 
and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb. Even in this time of sorrow, there is help. Joseph of Arimathea arranges for Jesus to be buried in a nearby tomb. His body is wrapped in cloths and sealed away. Everyone walks away weeping. Finally, all is quiet. Let us pray. O oh God, your blessed Son was laid in a tomb in a garden and rested on the Sabbath day. Grant that we who have been buried with him in the waters of baptism may find our perfect rest in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Jesus, may thy cross defend me, and thy saving death defend me. Here is I my death with grace. When who does my dust returneth, and does all Savior of the world, by your cross and precious blood you have redeemed us. Save us, Save us and help us be humbly to seek you, O Lord. Let us pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have delivered us from the dominion of sin and death and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. And we pray that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his love he may raise us to eternal joys, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. To Christ our Lord who loves us and washed us in his own blood and made us a kingdom of priests to serve his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.